In this video, I am going to share how I created this line that my students use during our asynchronous meeting. I call this My Quiet Work Time Interactive Slide. Let me show you first how this is used by my students. As my instruction in the callout says, they can use the first door for attendance check. Let's click that door. Students will be directed to a new page that has this form which asks for their details. The second door will be used if they have an urgent concern. Once clicked, that door will load my Facebook page where they can send me a message. The third door will be clicked by students if they would like to watch the video lesson in preparation for our next topic. Join me in recreating this slide. I will open my Google Slides by going to slides.google.com. I will select the plus symbol to create a new file. I will name this a synchronous meeting slide. I will remove the default text placeholders because I need a blank slide. I will close this themes window and remove the speaker node so I will have a larger working space. I will insert text by going to the toolbar and selecting the text box. I will change the font. Since the one I like is not here, I will click more fonts. On this new page, I will find the luckiest guy font. Select it and click the OK button. I will change its size to 60. Adjust the text box. Make it center. Change the color to dark blue. I will also add a border for emphasis. Next is to create the title for each door. The first one is for attendance. I will change the color to magenta. Increase the size. I will press Ctrl D to duplicate. I will change the text to, I have an urgent concern. Change its color to red. Control D again for the third title. I will change the text to, I am ready for the next lesson. Change its color to green. I will insert my Bitmoji for my students to feel that the instruction is really coming from me. The keyword is sit. I will click and drag this to the slide. I will search for a chair image. I will click the insert tab, choose image, tick search the web option. Keyword is transparent share. I will select this and drag to the slide. I will rotate this horizontally and will adjust those images. I will look for a laptop. Adjust its size and put it on the lap of my Bitmoji. I will insert a call out.
I will add a gradient color. Then I will enter my instruction to my students. I will tell them that today is a synchronous meeting and I would like them to know what to do. I will look for Sri Lanka font. In my instruction in the call out, I said that my students will click doors. I will install the Google add-on called Flat Icon. I will click Add-ons tab and select Get Add-ons. In the pop-up window, search for Flat Icon. I will install it using my Google account. Simply follow the on-screen instruction so you can also install it on your browser. Now that I already installed the flat icon, I will start using it. I will click Add on tab, select Icons for Slides and Decks, and pick Start. On the right side, I will enter the keyword door. I will choose one and click the insert button. I will move the door icon under the attendance text. I will look for another door. Move it to its correct position. I will again search for another door icon and insert it to the slide. Move it also to the correct area. I would also like to add mute and no video icons. I will do the same to insert them to the slide. I will now add a number to each door. I will click Shapes in the toolbar and select Oval. To make a perfect circle, press the Shift key while dragging the mouse. I will change the fill color to blue and make the border transparent. I will double click to type number 1. I will change the text color to white and make it center aligned. I will press Ctrl D to duplicate the shape. I will move the duplicate to the second and change its number to 2. I will duplicate again by pressing Ctrl D. Change its number to 3. I will now add label to each door so my students will easily know what the door is for. I will add text box. For this door, I would like them to know that this will allow them to submit their attendance. The second label is when they have urgent concern. The third is for them to know that when they click the door, they will watch the video lesson. I would also like to add arrows. To do that, I will go to jiffy.com. Under the Stickers tab, I will enter the keyword Transparent Arrow. I will copy the link. I will go back to the slide, click the Insert tab, select Image, and choose by URL option. Paste the link and click the Insert button. I will adjust the image and put it in the right position. I will press Ctrl D to duplicate, then make them point to the second and third doors. Now, I will show how I created the attendance form. I will go to forms.google.com. 
That will lead me to Google Forms. Select the plus button to create a new form. I will change the title to Attendance. The first question is for the complete name. I will make it required. I will add another question to ask for their student ID number. That is also required. Another question which is the date. The last question is to ask them if they were on time. Options are yes and no. I will also make this required. I will make sure that this form is accepting responses. Next, I will click the send button. Click the link icon or chain symbol. I will click the shorten URL checkbox and copy the link. I will go back to the slide. Click the door and go to the toolbar. Select the insert link tool. I will paste the shortened URL of the attendance Google form. For the next door, I will insert the link of my Facebook page where the students can send me a message. For the third door, I will get the link of the YouTube video lesson. Then paste it in the insert link tool. To share this to my students, I will click the share button at the upper right corner. I will make sure that the settings at the get link area is anyone with the link can view the file. I will copy the link. To make sure that my students will automatically see the presentation of the slide, I will make some changes on the link. This is what I need to do. I will remove the text that starts with edit in the URL. I will change it to preview question mark equals minimal. Let's try it. As you can see, it automatically launched the slide in its presentation mode. Let's check if all the links are working. The first door allowed us to go to the attendance form. The second door directed us to the FB page. And a third door helped us launch the video lesson on YouTube. Now, I would like to post this as an announcement in our Google Classroom. I will open it by going to classroom.google.com. In the stream page, I will type the announcement and paste the link. Click the post button. The expectation now is my students will be able to interact with the slide. I hope this video gave you an idea on how to create an interactive slide for a synchronous meeting. If this is useful, please like and share with your friends. I am hoping that you will consider subscribing to my channel. Please also press the notification bell for updates of my new uploads. Thank you!